And the Jayhawks get the opening tip. First of two regular season meetings between these two programs. Baylor 17 and 0, ranked third in the nation. Kansas 14 and 3, ranked seventh. And the first rebound comes down to the Bears off the missed shot. Here comes A.J. Walton at the point for Baylor. Baylor started out in his zone. They started 1-1-3. One, one, Walton had a great game against Kansas State. Thomas and Robinson draws the earliest. And I'll tell you, defensively, the last seven games, Kansas has been playing suffocating defense. Screen by Jones. Has slipped for three. Offensive rebound, Quincy AC. Off to Quincy Miller. And Robinson down to the rebound with that size. Boy, have we got a primetime matchup with Robinson covering Jones. And now Jones in the zone is on Robinson's side of the floor. That zone's got a big gap. Right in that foul line there, right there. Slid right across the lane. Good ball reversal. There's Robinson trying to get inside again. Forces it up with the off balance. And AC, another rebound. He is tough on the glass. Hey, one thing, he's putting up some big numbers down there. He's got over 1,100 points. Mississippi State on a neutral floor. But well, you got to go through Lawrence, Kansas to win the Big 12. And that will be tested big time in front of this unbelievable crowd here. Kansas has won or shared the last seven Big 12 regular season titles. Barry Jones, the third, misses the three. Multi-skilled, really multi-dimensional. Oh, Robinson oh. from Taylor. He's my player of the year, man, mid-season. He's a man. He is a man. I tell you what, then, a key in his game. He better not get in foul trouble. Pierre Jackson in off the bench early for Baylor, misses the three, gets it right back. Last year's National Junior College Player of the Year has been an outstanding performer for the Bears this season. Well, he brings a lot of energy. He brings a perimeter game. Very quick. He's really like a starter. And Scott Drew says the bigger the spotlight, the better he plays. For midseason National Player of the Year, Thomas Robinson averaging better than 17 points and 12 rebounds per game. Last three guys to do that. Pretty good names. Tim Duncan, Blake Griffin, and Michael Beasley. Not bad. Robinson first year as a starter backed up the Morris twins Corey Jefferson off the bench and Perry Jones hanging on the rim I would have done you would it out my friend beware of the fog This is one of the hardest places in America to play an intimidating environment and also great Kansas teams That has a lot to do with that stat as well of course Robinson again players all of whom are at least six seven and all of whom have a wingspan of at least seven feet They start with a one more and then it rotates into a two three they have a tandem up on top of the foul line area is open. And they want to attack that area in the blue. Johnson into the corner. Relaford to the shot fake. 10 to shoot. Dumped down for Whippy. Knocked away. And who's there? Robinson again. A little rough around the edges offensively. So he said to his team, hey, guys, if you can't score very easily, Stop. you may as well play better defense. Robinson with an up and under. And he's headed to the line. Either tighten that zone up or he's got to go to man. I mean, that's too easy. He's getting layups, Dan. He's getting layups. AC with the foul, his first. Robinson has scored the last eight Kansas points. This guy's quick. Played at college of Southern Idaho, would have produced a lot of players. Won a national championship at the junior yep. college level last year. Robinson down with a rebound. Eddie Sutton coached there years ago. Before he went out of fame, became a college Hall of Famer. Robinson from the free throw line. Little Whitney keeping it alive. And draws the foul. And, and Baylor plays that Saturday. That's right. We'll host wow. Missouri on Saturday afternoon. That is going to be a big time game. We've got an environment that will wake up. Quincy Miller back into the game for the Bears. Miller's got to go inside, too. And a foul call. Because of that, because of the. The loss of those two players, there was a thought at the beginning of the season, and you talked about it, that this is not a vintage Kansas team, but Bill Self, he's getting the most out of this group. They're ranked seventh in the country right now. Jones with a soft touch. And you see why NBA scouts yeah. love his talent. Yeah. Jackson with a steal. And then Baylor gives it right back. Oh, missed opportunity for Kansas, but they still got it. Tough play right there, though. 
Robinson one on one with Jones. Oh. Good no call, and Robinson finished on that floor. Robinson calling for it in the length of. Relaford back in for Johnson, who sits down with a second foul. Jones, wow, remains in the game. Matched up right now. I'd go right at Robinson. I'd try to get Robinson a couple of fouls. I'd get the ball with the PJ to third. Hessler back into the game for Baylor. The screen by Jones. Wong trying to turn the corner. See, they really check Kessler. They try to take away his three. Franklin, they got to get a shot off. Get away from me. It's a pretty good player, is that yeah. Yeah. And his uncle is Jay Triano, the Triano, former coach yeah. of the Raptors. He's a good player, too. Yes, very good. Doubling up on Robinson. He's got to learn to pass the ball in the post. Relifer. Taylor from the wing. Got it. Jones, and with he might have gotten a piece of 10 for Taylor. He can guard you too. He's matched up with Jackson. Jones again. Too many jump shots. He's got to utilize his skill around that post. Three jump shot oriented. See, kids like to prove they can play on the perimeter being big. Good job by Taylor to settle things down. Tries to split the double team and draw times. Kansas up by five right now. Quincy Miller, another jump three. He lost sight of him. There's that tandem up on top. It's a 1 1, and they rotate. The first guy goes to the ball side and becomes a 2 3. Boy, Robinson was wide open. So you're going to watch him right now. Slide right behind the foul line area. Wide open in here. Wide open. I mean, are you kidding me? I can catch the ball. Are you serious, you Dan? You can catch Schiller? it, but you're not knocking down that shot. No, I can make that shot. <laughs> Nobody's good. I got to get some looks for Hessler. They're trying to blanket him. Set a screen for him. There's too good of a long range shooter. He hasn't been able to get a shot yet tonight. Shot clock at five. Jackson, a deep one. Robinson, the rebound. Pushing it. Relaford with the layup. Nine-point lead, Kansas. They've had to come back from some deficits this year. Robinson steps in. Oh. Rippy Keith Davidson. And the Duke game really came down to the last second. Court made two monster threes. Double team on Jones. AC hits Heslet, and he buries the three. He finally gets an open look. Inside, outside action. Heslop. 51 threes out of 59 scores this year for him. And, and suddenly it's down to six. Well, that's what the three will do for you. They make two threes, Jackson and Hessler. Relaford looking inside. Here comes Robinson flashing to the middle. Take a look again. I've been telling you that all. You know, you might get away with that with teams that aren't as talented as Kansas. This is a well-drilled basketball team. Heslip misses the three and ripping it down with one on. Teams. They're not settling for jumpers. Oh! That skill. Robinson. He wants the ball. He's man. got that intensity, doesn't he? He really does. He wants the ball. He wants the challenge. Whippy with the foul. Threat shooting it. We saw shooting the three by Dukes. Oh, wow. Relaford a steal. Four on three. Taylor. Nice look. Robinson to Relaford. Relaford again. What a great Plano's team. Come through to the time. Gary Franklin into the game and now for Baylor. I'll tell you one thing. Kansas playing so hard defensively. Franklin forces up a three, and Robinson has another rebound. He just goes laterally. Does he get rebounds only in his area? He goes across the lane to get it. He's the best rebounder in the nation. They got 30 points in the paint for Kansas. They've got 13 offensive rebounds in this game. That means you're playing aggressive basketball. 
The one thing you must do in playing against this team, that is a layup city. Great angle, two-man game. They're putting a clinic on right now, Dan. The one thing you must do if you're playing Kansas here, you got to try to match their intensity and their emotion and how tough they play. If you come in and just go at a half base, you're going to... ...remains on the floor. The reason Elijah Johnson continues to be back in the Kansas locker room being evaluated by head athletic trainer Bill Cowgill. We don't know what's wrong with him yet, guys, but he's been in there for a good 10 minutes. That was a bad play right there by Johnson. ...to the Kansas bench, a good sign. Franklin. And the jumper rattles in for Jones. He can do that. Only chance they have of coming back in this game is going to have to start with their defense. And we have not seen them have an answer. Robinson lost that player. You know, you can't go by This is a good Baylor team. I mean, they're running into a bus sore here tonight, but this is a good Baylor team. Look inside, Robinson. Blocked from behind by Jones. Robinson. And Johnson will throw it back out to Relaford and he'll set it up. We get back down. This is vintage Kansas basketball. What we've witnessed over the last few years. Winning 30 almost every year. With a team that just about everybody thought. And they beat Georgetown on a neutral court. And no selling is a major difference. Quincy Miller quiets the crowd with a three. He's been quiet all night though. He's been quiet. He's a talent. It's a real education for some young players to come here to get a taste of what it's like. This is a taste of major big time college basketball. Only Syracuse, Murray State, and Baylor are undefeated. And Baylor's streak is in jeopardy. So the race is one of John State. Isaiah Canaan can shoot the ball. Miller trying to do it all himself. Yeah. Had Dave Bliss area there and had all that controversy. Got another good recruiting class coming in next year at Baylor. Oh, yeah, I met the kid. I went to see him play. Seven footer, Isaiah Austin. He's going to help them big time. I saw him play down there in Fort Myers in a high school tournament. A 16 point lead, just over three minutes to go. All five starters in double figures for Kansas. They're shooting 57%. And they're out rebounding Baylor like crazy. Robinson from Tate. Well, I could see you beating one guy, Dan, but where's the help? Where's the help defensively? Jones misses the three. Robinson's got 25 points. Taylor's got 25 points. Here comes a huge ovation for Thomas Robinson.